So it's 2023 and obviously prices have gone up, but there are still some really good things to be had even for as little as $10. So I tasked myself with going to a bunch of big box stores and seeing what they had available for 10 or less. And in this bucket are all the things I found at the Home Depot, including the bucket itself. So let's go ahead and show you what I found. First, I struggled a little bit to find anything under $10. Everything was like just over or really would have been amazing if I had a $20 budget. But this screwdriver was coming in under 10. It's not my favorite thing that they had there, but it's definitely an option if you're trying to stick to something so strict as only $10. So the thing with it that I don't like as much is that it uses precision uh, bits that are proprietary to this particular screwdriver. At 20, you could go over to the electric section and you can get a Klein double-sided uh, four millimeter bit driver, which is phenomenal for about 20 bucks. And that has also a lot more options. Same, and it also has storage in the handle as well. So these go in here, you put the cap into it. It allows it to rotate in your hands so you can use it you know, for precision turning and still put pressure. You know, it's great. I'm not unboxing this for the simple fact that I will probably end up giving this away as something that's kind of an add-on in the future. So why bother taking it out? That way it's in this nice packaging for whoever gets it next. My favorite item, and I found it by accident on the way out. Yeah, they sell an umbrella, a small umbrella on the way out of Home Depot. You might not even notice it unless you go to that self-checkout aisle, but yeah, it was right there. I didn't even get any video of it, but uh, this is fantastic. It's really, really long and uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks for an umbrella. That would be good to know. So if you're, if it's raining out and you happen to have a Home Depot in your strip, wherever you happen to be, you can always drop by and get something inexpensive. And it's a great little umbrella. So yeah, definitely worth it at $10, I would have to say. Now under 10, there's one manufacturer that I think you're gonna have a wide range of options with, and that is Night Eyes. So there's two sections in Home Depot that you can find things from this company. The first one is in the rope section or tie down section. You're gonna find these and a bunch of other items. And then also where they make new keys, you will find a whole bunch of add-ons that you can use for you know, key organizations. So I definitely recommend checking out both sections. These tend to be really inexpensive. In fact, if I had realized it, these were on sale for one cent. No, I'm not kidding. I checked my, my receipt. I paid one cent for this. I think it was a mismark or whatever. But when I went back to get more or to see what happened, they were all gone. So I guess the, the uh, somebody figured that out. But these are about three bucks normally. And the same thing is true for the G-Series clip. I actually am currently, currently using this exact clip for my keys, and I think it's wonderful. It clips onto a belt loop, no problem. And uh, yeah, I just like the organization of it. It's just been really, really simple, and I've liked them quite a bit. So definitely check out Night Eyes. You can find them in either of those two sections, and you're always gonna get something under 10 bucks. For $10, I was able to find this utility knife blade. You could get it for about eight bucks. But in truth, it's probably worth spending a little bit more and getting the Milwaukee Fastback 6-in-1, which not only has everything that has, it has a spot for wire stripping right here. It has a spot to have an extra blade on the inside. And my favorite thing of all, it actually has a locking bit driver that has a reversible bit. Now this will use, um, what do you call it? The Weeha double-sided bits. It'll use the Leatherman bits. It's just awesome. And yes, it does stop at the 90 degree mark as well. And if you want, it has a bottle opener. 
Now, when I was there, not anymore, but when I was there, you could get this for 20, but actually it rang up at 15. Now, I don't think you can find this anymore. I think they're sold out basically everywhere. But yeah, the Milwaukee Fastback 6-in-1, it's worth spending a little bit more. Yes, you can get this, but just save your money and get the 6-in-1. My wild card pick of the day. This is a cold chisel, right? You use it on a piece of metal that isn't, hasn't been heated. But I thought maybe, maybe this could be something you could EDC as a substitute prying tool. Now it's not exactly a prying shape where you would have it kind of thin, thin down a little bit, but still, maybe this is something that you could actually do. And so I'm kind of curious, let me know down in the comments if this is something that you would potentially carry in an organizer or just in your pocket by itself. I'm gonna say this is necessarily EDC, but when I run low on Gorilla Tape, I tend to pick up another roll. And the cool thing about Gorilla Tape is you can use it for all types of projects relating to EDC. I've made wallets out of it. I've made little holders out of it. It's just a really useful thing to have. If you're running around and you're trying to get supplies, you're gonna find a use for Gorilla Tape. It's incredible to keep in a car. I always have a roll ready to go and uh, by the way, if you wanna see one of the coolest videos ever relating to duct tape, you have to see the episode of Mythbusters where they literally reassemble an entire vehicle only using duct tape. It is so cool. Anyway, six something for this, well worth it if you're running through Home Depot or pretty much any other hardware store. Here's an item I didn't expect to like as much as I do. These are made by Crescent and the quality of these scissors really feels like something substantially more expensive than the seven or eight dollars that I paid for it. They're nice and thick, really, really, really stable blades, no flex whatsoever. They're much closer to shears than they are, well, I mean, the distinction is sort of ambiguous, but I really am impressed, and I would use these for much more heavy-duty tasks than I would your standard scissor, and yet these will do all of those precision tasks as well. So this is a home run and one of the gems of the day. Definitely check it out whenever you get to Home Depot. It'll be in the tool section with the wrenches and everything else. I'll admit it, I have a bit of a thing for pens and pencils. And when you go to Home Depot, there's a section right under the tape measures where you can get pencils for less than a dollar. And these actually have really nice erasers as well. And you also can get both red and standard lead carpenter's pencils. Something I have always loved the feel of, especially when it's just raw wood. Great, great things to have. And you can just carve them with your knife blade and use them when you need them. Great things to have around and also really fun for kids. Surprisingly, they like it quite a bit. It's also a great way to teach knife skills. If you wanted to do that with them, get a couple of these and you can have a really good time. Now, the only pen that I purchased this time around was this. They're called the Inksol pens. And what really attracts me to them is the fact that they are designed to be able to still draw after sitting out opened for more than 24 hours. And that's pretty good. Most of the Sharpies that I've used, they dry out really quickly if the pen cap is on off. And I've done that where I've left it off because I was working on some project and then had to throw away the pen. So this is nice to have. And I guess they're making a run and trying to compete with Sharpie. Although I think that might be a lost cause, but still having a unique feature that Sharpie doesn't have, probably a good idea. Something else that you can get for under $10 are tape measures. Now you can get even bigger ones, but I kind of like the compact ones to have around the house in various different drawers. And the fact that it comes with a clip is pretty useful when you're doing small you know, projects. I have this exact tape measure already. It's attached to my refrigerator upstairs because it has magnetic back. And that's kind of what I would do with it. I would use it like a refrigerator magnet. And then when you need it, it's always there. Nice and small, nine feet, works great. And under $10. Here's a gem that I completely forgot about. In fact, I've had this exact tool for a long time. 
you know, like many people, you see pictures of individuals carrying the Nipix Cobra and you go, wow, that's a $30 plier. And you want to try it, but you don't necessarily want to spend 30 just to figure out whether you don't like it, right? And so I got this and I was surprised at how much I enjoyed having it in my kit. And a couple of times when using it, I was pretty sure I would break it and it didn't break. In fact, I've put my entirety, the entirety of my weight on it to try to dislodge a nut and it actually held. I was really quite impressed that it did not snap on me. I was probably being really dumb with it as well. But yeah, they still make it and uh, you can get it for less than $10. I think just under 10, in fact. And it opens up to a pretty good amount, about an inch. I think it's about an inch. Let me double check that. No, not quite. So it's a little bit less, like three quarters of an inch, give or take. And so you're gonna get a lot of reach with this. Anything bigger than that is probably gonna require a much larger tool anyway. And this will get you an idea of whether you're willing and enjoying carrying a dedicated uh, plier in your pocket. This thing is very, very, very light. And that is actually something that it has an advantage of over the Nipex. Now, funny enough, I have a similar variant made by Channel Lock that is made here in the US and it doesn't open nearly as far and frankly, I don't like nearly as much. Hold on a second, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. I, uh, I really, this is the 424 by Channel Locks and you can see you don't get nearly the amount of space available to you that the, uh, what do you call it, the Crescent actually does. It's also not as, well, it's about the same in that regard, but really, really narrow handles. This is not a very comfortable tool to utilize, and I probably would not recommend it, but this little Crescent, which is also cheaper, yeah, I like this one. The RT24 is definitely something to consider if you're trying to keep an ultra budget setup and might be a good complement to just about any Swiss Army knife for one thing. So that's it. Take a look at that, about 10 bucks. Last item I wanna talk about are these. Now you can get a bunch of different variants for under $10, but I really, really enjoy how many different ways you can utilize one of these um, night eyes twist ties. So for one thing, you can use them to attach a flashlight to a whole bunch of different places and actually have that light be directed in any location. So you can wrap this around a light, then wrap the other side around something and use it to actually direct the light into a specific space. That's cool. You can use this as a makeshift key organizer if you wanted to. You can use it also to create a stand for your iPad or for your phone. So you can do that as well. These are really, really, really useful for a lot of different purposes. And there's also different lengths. This is the 12 inch variant. I actually think the six inch is another really useful size and they kind of disappear. You can wrap them around things. You can uh, store them in kits. They're just really, really useful. So always worth checking these out. And they do last a pretty good amount of time. I have the first ones I ever purchased still and they still work great. Yeah, not much to say. Really, really useful item some to check out by Night Eyes as well. Here is everything I found at Home Depot under $10. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will probably continue this series somewhere down the line. Let me know down in the comments what big box store you would like to see next. Anyway, thanks again for your time and we'll talk again soon.